Hello there, it's Stuart, Rob and Katie and today we are joined by Ollie from the Story Masters Tales Interactive Role Play Theatre. Yeah! <laughs> Ridiculousness all round, we love it. <laughs> oh, shape is already. I tell you. Keep doing that with us, Stuart. I tell you, I, I, is you know, it's coming on lovely. It is, it's getting there. It's, it's getting there. I'm, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have basically Ollie. Um, I think, uh, you, I'll be able to be one of your characters anyway within the thing, just as how I look. Oh, fantastic! That's great. Well, we're, we're doing a rough pirate soon, so that's a that's rough pirate. Good. Well, oh, I can yeah. definitely do a pirate. It's not a problem. Yeah, no worries. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so Ollie, it is absolutely lovely. To have you with us today and first of all congratulations for winning the prestigious and most coveted online larp of the year uk uh, for over 10 people so well done Yay, good job. Yes, uh, it, yeah yeah for, for for those of you that that didn't know about that every single year there is a well a massive competition uh which is the online larp awards uk that has to be specified that <laughs> and there oh, are so many LARP categories <laughs> yeah that's right yeah larp awards that's right and um and and yeah i mean ollie Ol ollie and his team basically won that very prestigious award so congratulations to that and i must be Thank honest you. it is very well deserved <laughs> everything that i have oh. seen so far uh i've not i've not experienced one yet but trust me i think every single one of us here will be joining at some point i can almost guarantee that I'm glad to hear that <laughs> <laughs> we, we were very very happy uh to win that and um yeah. you know it, i've only really started the online larp as it is now in november right so okay. it is a, a rapid growth um, but it, it's had 30 years of, of practice before then. So it, it, there's a lot of things that have gone into it to, to make it work as well as it does now. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I, I bet. I mean, so you, you started this, didn't you, just as a theatre production type thing, wasn't it? Uh, k kind of. I mean, I, I, I run a, a thing here in Rye, in East Sussex. Uh, beautiful Rye, beautiful cobble streets and uh, yeah. sort of ancient sink port. And it already looks like a film set before yeah. we've done anything. And I've had this place for four years. Right. And what it is, it's, uh, it's had various names. It's been Legend Quest. It's been the School of Wizards and Witches. Uh, and now it's Story Master Tales. And it's right. always been an interactive um, theatre. So we've okay. had all types of people coming in and out. Uh, and essentially, I've been teaching people how to LARP uh, all mm. that time. So we've had six-year-olds come in with, with mum and dad, and yeah. they've been immediately, within five minutes, role-playing. Well, yeah. Whether they re realise it or not. I've had 90-year-old uh, grandfathers battling plague beasts with their bare hands. Um, <laughs> as, and again, as, they have no idea they're LARPing. But as every, you know, yeah, I, that's I know, right. That's, that's my mission <laughs> in life to get as many people, general public, to, to role play. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and, obviously, uh, all 19 year old granddads should definitely uh, battle at least one plague beast in their life. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Something to aspire to. <laughs> exactly. You know, if you haven't ticked that off your bucket list, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what 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 you're even doing. You know. Uh, no. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So, so I'm I'm going to make an assumption then that you have been larping then for some time. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Quite some time. I kind of came to it when I was about so thirteen, fourteen, yeah. and uh, I was. I was ill one summer, and yeah. I started drawing all the uh, the fighting fantasy book illustrations up on my bedroom walls. Right. And I kind of really yeah. hooked myself on the fighting fantasy books into role-playing Dungeons and & Dragons. And then I remember going down to a, uh, a W.H. Smith's down in um, Eastbourne. Okay. Mm -hmm. And someone had stuck a flyer inside, uh, I think it's White Dwarf magazine, when it was yep. actually yes. about role-playing rather than miniatures, miniatures yeah. and uh, it was a local club run by a chap who from eastbourne college who ran the theater there okay paul turner and he he created broadsword 
and mm. he 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 wrote brilliant adventures. And the thing I, I learned about uh, live role playing at that stage, it, it is such a fantastic storytelling medium. Yes, um, yeah. and it was yes. all about you know creating characters, writing for your players. Uh, they were all linear adventures, and that, that's kind of the format I enjoy the most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and they were well propped, they were well acted, and and that's kind of has taken me through. And, and a year later, I started my own club. Yes, um, okay. So I started making my own costumes, uh, making masks, all, all that, making my own weapons terribly. I ne never <laughs> made them again. <laughs> uh, but eventually, yeah. that got me into working to theatre. Okay. Um, and people I, I saw at that stage who I thought were amazing are still pretty amazing now. I mean, someone like Mark Cordry, yeah, um, yeah. who, who, who yeah. makes you know, puppets still. He's, he's still making stuff. Um, this is one of the puppets we use from the show. Um, I, we call him Sebastian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and he, he's Brilliant. currently making some masks for me um, for th this new um, show as well. So, yeah. Uh, no, yes, we we, Mark's work. we 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 have we have actually been invited up there uh, when all lockdown and one of you is finished because I can't wait to go up to his his workshop. I'm I'm a tinkerer yeah. and what have you. You can see the three D printers and things that are behind me and all the rest of it. Right. I mean, I love anything anything that involves. Um, ooh, how do I do that? <laughs> yeah. You know, so I I can't wait to go up there and film that. To be I'm perfectly honest, I'm going to be honest. the adult that day, aren't I? You are going to indeed be the adult <laughs> that day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, if, if, if any anybody else got questions? Because I can fire questions at Ollie all day. I think. <laughs> Go on, go for it. Okay, right, fine. That's <laughs> so. I'm, right, I'm just going to jump in with a few things as you go along. I, I, there is a plan. Okay. There is a plan. There's a cunning plan, uh, is there, Rob? Good, excellent, excellent. Yes, don't oh, worry. Oh, so, uh, so, so um, I can tell you a little bit about Brawl Sword mm. and what why it's special to me. Um, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we had players there who, who, again, they've gone on to work for you know, TV and film, and, uh, mm. and again. Um, and, and are still most of them are still live role playing in one form or another. So there must be something that the guy was doing right at the time. Yeah. And uh, there are so many clubs that sprung from that one club. Right. Um, I think someone drew a, a fantastic map. Uh, have you seen the map of of the LARP? Mm. Uh, because Bolt was quite a... famous. It it kind of gathered together a lot of people who then went off and did, but it's like like, like an inception point for a lot of LARP in this country. Yeah, usually people yeah. know a lot of it comes from a couple of a lot of LARP comes from just a handful of places. That's right. Uh, Mark Dollar, um, he ran or oh, still uh, Darklands, I think it was down yeah. in uh, Cornwall. Um, mm -hmm. We've also got um, there's Crown of Thorns, which became Shadowlands, I think it was over. Okay. At, um, ben House runs Old World Adventures. Um, yeah, there's there's loads of them. Uh, yeah, and, and they're fantastic, and they, they all kind of spring from you know Paul Turner's uh, work of writing okay, yeah. really good adventures. You know, um, yeah, I, I've never been a huge fan of, of events, um, big events. I, I find them, um, oh, they, they're fine, but as, as a narrative, I, I'm, I'm drawn to the theatre, and obviously, theatre shows, books are acts and orders and chapters to yeah. build it into a, a fantastic um, event. Yeah. Yeah, smaller yeah. arts are much, much more fun than big yeah. festival arts because, again, when there's less of you, it's easier to tell and follow a story than if there's, like, thousands of people yes. trying to get all of them on the same story as, like, herding cats. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's much more inclusive, isn't it? It's just as simple as that, you know. It, it you is, know. And, and a lot of the, get, lot of the gatherings, I mean, they've got gathering the other ones, uh, they, they te seem to be kind of geared around a battle. You know, there's going to yeah. be a big battle on day three. We all know it. We're all yeah. going to be involved. We're going to be in factions. And it kind of <laughs> yeah. forces the, the narrative to only go that direction. Yeah. And it's kind yeah. of, oh, okay, all right fine but there's so many other things you could do yeah, yeah. um you know there'd be good yeah. could be a, whole, a great ritual that you all have to do yeah. there could be um the, 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 you know for instance the reason that i now find larp works so well on this new online um world is because you're forced 
forced to do the storytelling. You're forced to make everyone role play. And yeah. You're forced yeah. to help each other out in the same way. Otherwise, you know it won't work. So you have to kind of all follow the direction of, of the narrative. But yeah. you can add in your own points, your own own things. And you're not going to be able to hit anyone with a sword. Yeah. Um, so with things like combat, yeah. if it happens, it's going to be affecting everyone. Um, mm -hmm. And it's going to be much, much more powerful. We can use magic. That's fine. We can do that from a distance. Uh, we can do coinage. So I, I can hand I can hand you an item so you can get a scroll. I can go, that's great. You've got that scroll. I can hand it to you. You can go, oh, thank you very much. And then I, I can click it so it appears on the screen and they, they can read it. Or I can yeah. just drop it into the file and then it appears a PDF and they can read it there. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, there's, there's so many things that you can do. Uh, in this structure, the, for instance, the other day uh, we had a, a character that turned up at, at an event, and it was a very jolly tavern opening. Um, and we had different rooms in in Zoom, so people were going into the cellar where we had uh, the midnight crows doing yeah. some kind of nefarious, dodgy gambling games. Uh, yeah. We had the wizards' garden; people are going out there explaining to the new players what was going on with the plot and how to use magic. Uh, and then we had this very kind of uh, divisive character just wandering and just abuse everyone in a, in a very non <laughs> non threatening non sort of way. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just like, <laughs> you know, and he, he was basically a, a fey hater. And, and he just right. I, I designed him to rankle everyone and, and rub up everyone the wrong way. A little bit <laughs> like it's, it happened in real life. You go yeah. to a, a pub, someone goes, it comes in, that we mm. all kind of go, Ooh. 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 Yeah, it's all <laughs> gonna, gonna kick off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we didn't yeah. have to have any fights. We didn't no. have to do anything, but it was no. really powerful. Um, mm. And then they, they get to kill him like three days later, you know, or three, three events later. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know because it's got to be done it's as simple as that isn't it it's at the very, at the very minimum it's got to be done isn't it yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, you know go on rob i was just gonna say i think it's a good point actually that lab i think with, with a lot of fast we talked about fair stars but a lot of you know, i'm just gonna say fantasy lap in, or digital lap in general assume mm. that there's going to be combat and there's going to be a fight but yet some of the really good laps i've been to there's been no combat yeah Whatsoever. I mean, I think back to some of the horror laps I've done where they've been absolutely total immersion, but zero combat. And I was always very impressed with a few years, several years ago, we went off to Poland to do one of uh, Klaus Vasta's laps. And again, the whole of, 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 of the lap had a built in mechanism for if you think it's going to kick off, do this, no combat. And mm. it's still one of the most immersive experiences. It's, I think oh, it's great that we're yeah. getting over that idea now that lap must be bashing somebody with a sword, as fun as that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah, but there, there's so many other, other consequences you can have from your actions rather than yeah. a, a sword through the gut. You know, we, we've had people who've, you know, they've been transformed or they, they've, they've been sucked into an astral realm or, you know, they, they've mm. lost a hand or they've been disfigured or, yeah. or you know, something that they've emotionally had to s sort out. Yes. Um, which, again, can create really powerful uh, moments. I mean, we, we, yeah. we, we see it all the time in, in dramas, you know, TV, soaps and things like that. You can have yeah. something yeah. very minor that's happened to one character and it have ripples amongst all the other players. Yes. Yeah. Um, hey. Exactly, and you know, from from what I can gather, when I, when I go onto the Facebook group and, and and what have you, read through some of the comments and stuff, uh, <laughs> you're nailing it, you know, and that's because of good storytelling, you know. This is this is something we we try and encourage so much. Yeah, yeah. Battles are fun if you want to do that, but if you can get if you can get the the, the feeling and the emphasis right with the storytelling, oh, it's yeah sublime as far as we're concerned you know 100 it, it is good I, I well i'm just trying to think of some some moments that have really kind of affected people uh we i mean again although they're a linear yeah. uh, we have moments that can change you know they might throw something at me that i kind of go oh yeah no that's great we can we can work with that and we, we can we can take it because i tend to write the the whole event and film it because uh, I, I use uh, voiceover and film stuff and live and uh, puppets and I have a whole mix of, yeah. of, of techniques that I do with each one. Um, so it's set in a certain way. But we had an adventure which is a cabin in the woods. So mm -hmm. we, there's this Wendigo 
which uh, a lot of our play half Ameri American uh, players kind of know what a Wendigo is. It's yeah. like a, a mm. fae that has a, a ice heart and it, it goes after souls. Um, and so any, we had one of the yeah. anybody that's watched Supernatural knows what a Wendigo yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone's a nerd knows what a Wendigo is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, so, go on, so go we on. had one of those. So they had to visit a graveyard. Uh, they had mm. to go and question the watch, uh, and they're kind of finding it. And they eventually get tracked down to this roundhouse. So this is all filmed. We're not just talking about. I film all this stuff, um, mm. and then this creature comes out of the mist, and they, they run inside the this hut, and that you can hear banging because I, I pre-recorded the banging, and then we got yeah. the character. And then they say, okay, no, I don't. Uh, there's a huge debate about killing it or not killing it. Because um, I gave them a way of killing it. And everyone was going, yeah, kill it. But one person was going, no, 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 no. I, I have to keep the heart. I have to keep the ice heart. Okay. So I thought, brilliant. Mm -hmm. okay, that's great. And I actually had a, a, an ice ball about this big that was going to represent it. So at the time, mm. his latest show, because it was a bit smaller by then, it's on an ice cube. Um, <laughs> so I bring it up, and then they, they, they rescue it. So then now they're saving the Wendigo, which is an entirely different plot point. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Again, that's that's no, one, right? no one's been here with the sword. You're dealing with death. You're dealing with uh, you know moral dilemmas. You're, yeah. you're dealing with, mm -hmm. with some people who just want to kill the fae, some people who want to protect it, some people yeah. who find that yeah. their part. You know, and then I sent them into an astral, uh, the actual astral fey realm uh and then that that was done over in between sessions by my text but like you know it's another great thing you can do yeah. uh, in between role playing as well it's uh, yeah yeah so i get very passionate about <laughs> no that's good i, mean, I well, love that yeah, that's that's, yeah. I, I mean as as you gather we're we're only slightly passionate about larping uh <laughs> In the sheer fact, we set up a whole, a whole thing dedicated to it. Uh, <laughs> <you know. laughs> so, so um, what we will do, okay, uh, and this is unscripted, folks, and all the rest of it. Uh, uh -oh. What we will do is, uh, just about now, we'll put some great videos in for you to watch about some of Ollie's work. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll put some stuff in there. Um, so... You've you've got some things coming up, Bolly. Uh, obviously, um, which you may or may not want to talk about. Certain individuals that might be. I, I don't mind. Soon. I don't mind because they've made it public. I, mean, I can I can just right. say just briefly because you've just seen the trailer uh, to, to to the show that you might recognise that voice. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. and that was that's Tom Baker. Yes, and uh, yes. one of my many. Um, skills I, I, I've learned over the years is photography, and I've been a fantasy photographer yeah. mm -hmm. um, for 15 years now. And Tom Baker's been one of my clients. And I okay. approached him uh, this year and I said, uh, would you voice this for me? And uh, he said, <laughs> absolutely, but go to my agent first. So I went yes. to his agent. <laughs> and then, <laughs> So it wasn't quite a, a mate's thing but uh <laughs> but, yeah, but, but he, he kind of agreed uh, he'll do it you know yeah so yeah. that's amazing so we've got him uh, as our, our voice yeah um, oh I, yeah it's, it's brilliant i mean the, the the first time i heard your trailer i went hang on i know that voice because <laughs> 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 he, he, kind of he is he is by far he's he's we all have the my doctor, don't we? Don't yeah. Right, we all have that, and he is my doctor with the jelly babies and all the rest of it, right? Uh, yeah, by far. So, as soon as I heard that voice, I was like, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. and so he did that for us. So I've just written up hmm. a new one. If you're wondering what we're doing now, um, yeah. I've got various different types of quests that we do. Uh, from our website, so okay. um, storymastersales.com. Uh, yeah. If you go there, you see the standalones, there's the ongoing quest, and then there's a private party. Yeah. Now, the standalone, I've just written a new one. I'm, I'm using all of Tom's narrations that he's used for different areas. Yeah. And some new, new masks, some um, new Mark Cordry creations. Yeah. Uh, and then... Yeah. So sort of weaved it into a storyline that is going to be a, a, like a, a get into the ongoing quest. So it's all like like this is right. This is the best. This is the world. These are the characters you might meet. Uh, these are various yeah. different things you can do. 
now if you really enjoy it come and join the ongoing quests with um, you the, and, and these, hopefully that these are your tasters yeah. yeah yeah these these are your, yeah. these are these are come on in come try yeah. come try you like it come over here yeah <laughs> It's like That's the appetizers it. before the main meal. <laughs> <laughs> Very well said, Katie. In fact, it is the appetizers before the main meal, for the main course. <laughs> because cause it, this is kind of new to everyone. Well, we've got, yeah. um, obviously, people are going to be interested in it, uh, but they're not going to get it. And, you know, as LARPers yes. for many years, we, we all know what it is. Yeah. Um, but the general public still have no idea. And if they, no. this is why I, I didn't call myself Sora Mostel's LARP. We did initially. Because if, if you're general, if, what is LARP? And they type it in, what's the first thing that's going to come up? Lots of well, pictures in part. Well, with LARP, book. LARP, LARP book comes up <laughs> all yes. the blooming time. <laughs> <laughs> But, but but that's what they're going to see. They're, they're going to see, see LARP as as the yeah. you know, Google image searches and, yeah. and that's you'll what. See, you'll see traditional see. LARP. Uh, say when you necessarily get or understand or like to look up, but try Story Master Tales, and that's an entirely different. Yeah, story, yeah. I, I I absolutely hate whenever I see a news article and they then go, "What is LARP?" Just to explain it first, I'm going, yeah. "Oh, this is going to be aw- oh yes, it is awful." Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's that's not just it. That's not all it is, right? No, it's not in a I tried forest. To explain it oh. to doctors and stuff, and they just end up writing down reenactment because they don't understand. <laughs> yeah, 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 reenactment, interactive storytelling, Katie. That's what you want to go for. Interactive mm-hmm. storytelling. Well, that's it. It's a lot easier to describe, and and thing that I, I f- put a lot of people off the general pub- public is they don't want to have to learn rules. Mm. You know, they, you know, okay, right. Yeah. We've got LARP. What are the rules? And 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 sit, then you get another you know, excuse for not to do it. I haven't got time to do that. I, I'm not really interested in learning rules. Yeah, uh, like, rules. <laughs> you know, so, so that, that's another. Read the no, rules. I never read no. the rules. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. So so if you take that away, and you take you take away everyone's reason for not doing it. Yes. Yeah. Then that's how you can get in the role playing. And that's what I've been learning over the last four years, getting, you know, people yeah. come off the street. Oh, we've got a show. Great. They, I don't say it's a LARP show. I just say it's an interactive show. Yeah. And they sit down and they're, they're, within five, ten minutes, they're absolutely totally into it. Totally. Yeah. You know, the kids are all behaving. I do a little chat at the beginning, yeah. um, which kind of takes out the elephant in the room. You go, uh, well, welcome to the Story Master's Tales. Uh, delightful to see you all. But we all know this is theatre. Uh, who's done theatre before? Everyone puts a hand up. Um, and we know that this isn't real. This isn't real. That's not real. These candles aren't real. But we're going to all pretend they are. Okay, so if I <laughs> hold your hand over this, you're going to go, ow. Okay, and, and then that's it. You know, you, they're there. They all know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then it never gets referred to again. Yeah. You know, if someone right. goes, oh, you're not stupid in that mask, you don't get it. Yeah. Or yeah. If, they, if they do, they're going to get everyone, everyone looking at them going, you're an idiot. <laughs> so if they do it, it will only happen once. You know, so and, and I have I've had groups of students, I've had um you know corporates, I've had all kinds of I do exactly the same yeah. chat for everyone and we never get it uh, any longer. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. that's kind of I mean um, I'm I mean we yeah, I, I, I would I would agree with that. We we did a uh it used to be uh, just a group a group of friends uh, running games called Fear of the Dark, right? You can guess yeah. that they're modern day horror, right? Um, and we did actually do uh, f- uh, for a a, a brewery, a, 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 a chain of taverns. We did do a game, right, yeah. as their Christmas, you know, treat type thing. These people had never done it before, not a clue, right? They were actually looking, getting, you know, getting ready to go up on a a, a, a bit of a drinking session, you know. And um, once we explained how things work and all the rest of it and just act as though it was happening and blah, blah, blah. Oh, they had a whale of a time. An absolute yeah. ball, yeah. you know. And when they, at the end of it, the feedback was that was amazing <laughs> that was amazing oh my god when's the next one <laughs> you know yeah. yeah that's it i mean people will enjoy it and i think yeah, the, yeah. the the trick is you know as long as the the actors and the you know everyone in, 
are taking it dead seriously yeah. Yeah. within yeah. the world and they don't break out of character or and once it's starting they don't go <laughs> gonna hold the candle you know they, they take it seriously like, this is a candle now yeah, yeah and they, they lead by example and then a meet everyone is is there and they're drawn in and they're drawn in yeah, and then you can take them on an incredible journey so yeah. by the end there's, there's a one I, I love doing which is well there's, there's several I love doing um there's the shadow of the vampire where right. at the end all they have to do is walk from it's only about sort of, from here to the end there which is not very yeah. far it's about sort of uh, three meters uh but we've got two vampires jumping out bes beside they're not going to hurt them you know none of my actors are going to physically touch anyone um but you get these kids like walking ahead absolutely shaking with a crucifix and the you know, other kids holding a garlic in front of them and they're just, they <laughs> <laughs> but they're totally and the adults are worse you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's, it's great i love it <laughs> that's awesome absolutely yeah. brilliant Absolutely, it almost, almost feels like taking a taking a leaf out of Disney's playbook for their parks, and then knocking yeah. it up a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. I and mean, there's, there's obviously things that we, you know, if you can take someone's imagination and and you yeah. take them to the point where they are there, yeah. and yeah. again, if you do it right, there or there, uh, yeah. you can do extraordinary things. You can get. Because um, I'm also a magician as well. I, I'm a member of the Magic Circle. All right. So, okay. uh, and that's very <laughs> yeah. recent uh, last year. But I've used magical principles in my shows uh, yeah. for years. So we even start off with, with a meditation, slight hypnosis uh, for, for everyone. Uh, okay. We get them to all close their eyes. After we've done the chat about this isn't real, everyone close their eyes. Okay, you're going to go on a, 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 a mind journey. Uh, and you're going to lift yourselves out of your body and you're going to fly out of this roof and you're going to go over the, the town and you're going to look down at the cobbled streets and you're going to head towards uh, a, a woodland. And in there, there's a, a little um, smoking cottage and uh, you go into it and then you open your eyes, you're there, that, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, and when they open their eyes, they're totally there. But they're, and they're, their imaginations are now kicked in. So I can yeah. pick up a crystal ball and I go, right, you stare into that crystal ball. And in there, you can see uh, like an old man with a long gray beard walking across a giant desert. And they're there, they're, they're picturing it. You know, it's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And they all feed off each other. It, it, it's, it's really, yeah. really exciting, oh, I think. It's, uh... Yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, with, with, with what you've been able to achieve so far uh, and mm. what have you, I, I, can just, I can just see this personally continuing, right? Because the beauty about the internet well it's global <laughs> <laughs> yeah. people yeah. don't have to come and visit your you know your your, your beautiful theater and all the rest of it in mm. person they could just lock on yeah. and interact and have fun and be part of it and be immersed and i think that's the that's the key bit once you've once you've got that that immersion there yeah then yeah. you're gonna have a great time there's no. I want to go visit the theatre though. Oh yeah, I mean we will, right? I mean, I mean, Ollie, uh, stop us, right? When all the lockdown and what have you, yeah, we're gonna be we're we're gonna be battering on the doors, my friend, right? Just to come out there. there. Lockdown ends just before my birthday. <laughs> so... There's no hint it's there, was the there? The strange thing is, I don't know whether. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know at the moment because I could probably change my mind see how things go but i don't know whether i will open it up again yeah. in the same way because at the it's... moment i am reaching a global audience you know yeah. i've yeah. got um you know half of them in america uh, yep. I, I had um like the, the party i've got later on is a 10th birthday party in there in, in canada yep. um i've got um i've, I've got my celebrity coming tonight we've got kiera Sattel from greatest showman she's playing yeah. um this would never happen you know and, yeah. and and this is only over well since november just a few months of growing it on uh, as a larp so yeah. if i suddenly go back to doing as i am I, i'm limiting myself and you are. i'm thinking well it can only grow one way uh yeah yeah, I, yeah, the yeah, the yeah. fear that when everyone's allowed to go back out and um, you know see people again, I'll lose lose my audience. 
but there's still plenty of people at home who can't get out or come back in the evening and it's so, it's yeah. so simple all they have to do put a hood on and you said yeah hood or hat or something like that change the virtual, virtual background they're there yes yeah. and, and it's the it's the community that is the most important yes. um, thing obviously storytelling is important but if you're in a player group and you, you're going to meet 10 other friends every other week uh role play get to know the characters yeah. it's very seducive it's very mm. addictive yeah um, yeah 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 exactly i mean all, all all i'm saying is is for us to come up to you to have a tour of the studios and all the rest of it and oh, yeah, blah 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 <laughs> oh yeah yeah uh, stop stop us my friend because yeah. we can scale walls and everything right <laughs> <laughs> I would pay but, but it, it is it walls. is a good point yeah, what what theatre would be like, like parlour theatres? Because obviously interactive, I even mm. with sanitising, I couldn't hand you a crystal ball or things like that. So that's going to change. And yeah. Yeah. it's quite a small environment, and we use smoke machines. We wouldn't better use those again. I know. Um, no. So yeah. I'm thinking, okay, it is going to be a LARPing online studio. Yeah, yeah. And and, 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 I, and I don't right. blame you. I don't blame you, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. it... it not only makes things slightly easier for you in 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 some ways right it means that you can do a lot of pre-production you can do whatever effects you like you know you can add visual effects without any problem yeah. that yep. sort of thing which would be much harder to achieve in mm -hmm. a live theater it's but, simple and as also, that and also yeah. you you I mean Vi is beautiful but it's kind of tucked out the way a little bit <laughs> But you're reaching the yeah. global audience now, and even a UK national audience, you would be hard to pass the meet. <laughs> anyway, yes. so you're getting the message out to yeah. more people. Yes, and you're building a nice what, community. There's a lot to be said about doing it this way. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think what, one thing I, I wouldn't mind doing is an event in Rye, um, because you know the more people we get coming, mm. um, it, it's an it's a it's an area which not many people are, are LARPing, uh, folklore, mm. sort of 18th century uh, world. No. Uh, but it's one that everyone understands. We all know our fairy tales. We all know our, yes. sort of, our, that kind of history as well. You think yeah. about pirates. Okay, we know the costumes. Mm. Uh, and as soon as you step on some of these streets, you're there. Um, yeah. So you can have yeah. a tavern, a real tavern, and it's in a town. In the whole place, yeah. you go out in the evening. There's no not yeah. lot of street lamps. It just feels it feels right. So maybe I'll be doing that kind of thing more than this. And this yeah. will be like uh, my shop window. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to ask you, Ollie, if you, cause you, I know you're doing 18th century and there's pirates and the whole 18th century vibe, but has that ever wandered into Regency? Because Regency is getting ridiculously big again. <laughs> well, the, the actual year we've set it is 1752. Ooh, so, way, before, way before then. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So we, we're, and the reason I chose that was mm. really the Brothers Grimm um because yeah. we wanted that kind of period they're, they're a little bit later so i'm yeah. thinking these yeah. are the stories that would be there being fed yeah um yes mm -hmm. but it's also is an easy one to fizz rep because a lot of buildings around that look <laughs> right uh and obviously yeah. that pirates it's quite easy to buy a pirate shirt yeah <laughs> like that and uh yeah and then you you're incorporating you know the red riding hoods huntsmen yeah uh yeah. soldiers yes. um you know so there's, there's loads of characters you can play uh, in that and, and obviously witches witch, wizards and things like that yeah oh, uh, but we are doing another genre we, we're doing mm -hmm. uh 1920s paranormal investigation oh. yes i, no, I, I, I heard I, I heard your pilot went really well ollie <laughs> yes this it is real well, yeah <laughs> is this is this the, the cthulhu based stuff Yes, yes, it's called yeah. Cthulhu Parlor. <laughs> My daughter, <laughs> she's like, yay, all halo overlord Cthulhu, the saviour of us all. <laughs> it, it, it's Cthulhu Parlor, uh, it's set in England, uh, London, uh, and, and the premise is uh, you're part of the society, the UN, uh, yeah. the unexplored, the unknown, and the unnatural. And you're a bunch of investigators. You can be, and they're, they're more one offs, these and more standalones rather than ongoing quests. Okay. Um, and it was like the case book of, you know, the, the haunted yeah. house. And, and then, you know, you, you go on it. And it worked really well. We make everyone change their cameras to black and white. Um, I, I, I do the, um, 
uh, everything is as like acts as sort of like a, an old black and white film coming up yeah. um and just just yeah it's just good fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> so Sounds i've got fun. a few of those lined up uh katie i think i, th- I think we, sh- we should sign up to those so yeah, uh-huh. what, what, what do I reckon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mm-hmm. think you might see our names coming on that list very soon. Like you, you had to ask, Dan. Like you had to ask. I know. <laughs> what Cthulhu? Where we all die? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and and that that was um, yeah, that was really good. I mean, obviously, when you write there, they've got to be a bit more disturbing. There's less um, less humour involved. Or yeah. there's a few characters in there that. You know, always quite a bit of fun, um, and I, I do try and uh, that starts off with hip, hypnosis as well. That one, okay, uh, okay. or at least the pilot did. Whether we'll keep that going, I don't know yet. Um, I'm still working on that. But it, it, <laughs> what, what, all, these all link into the games that I produce as well. I, I produce board games, right? Um, okay, role play, I, I should, get, should I get into those a bit because they look really interesting. They look really interesting. I've not played them, but they do look really interesting. Can I, I mean, I mean, I, I just want to stop you right right now. Is there anything you can't do? Uh, I'm not very good at maths. Oh, I, well, at least, <laughs> at, at least at least there's one thing: photographer and all the rest of it, interactive. <laughs> I do these things. I, I I produce board games and what you know. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so but let's yeah, let's yeah, hear about yeah, the board yeah. games. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the weird thing is, all this stuff comes, you know, from probably you know thirteen, twelve, thirteen, sort of fighting fantasy books. Yeah, uh, my, yeah. my uncle was a games designer, okay. um, mm-hmm. and he created a game called Kingmaker. And uh, I, I've always loved games, and I've, again, I always like ones with less rules the better. Yeah. Um, so when I <laughs> I started to write one kind of based on this show uh, that I was doing for the School of Wizards. Mm. Uh, I, I, I took a format which was kind of like choose your own, but I wanted to make it a little bit different. So it's a card game that utilizes um, a, a, a multiple choice, but it's not a, a branching narrative because the cards do the branching narrative for you. So you create, start okay. creating a map, and then there's interwoven, interlinking stories. So those games, and there's uh, Story Master Tales, Weirding Wood, Dragon Meat Dungeon, and then I'm writing two more in that world, Towers, and then Dragon Meat, uh, sorry, um, Threat Lord Town. Mm. That's the world that we LARP in as well. So right. if you, if you okay. play both, you'll get a little inkling of what's going on on each one. So the, they're all, all there, because I also have, sorry, Stuart, I also produce <laughs> albums. <laughs> so I've got, um, I've got about 12... Um, soundscape albums, yeah, which, which yeah. go underneath the, the theater shows uh, and the, the game itself. So each card will have its own soundscape, its own narrator as well. So they're narrated beautifully. Mm-hmm. Uh, a guy called Mel Shiner, not Tom Baker for this one, but Mel. Uh, so it, again, it, it's bringing the theater to life to more people. Yeah. Those games are designed for families to enjoy, and again, role playing for people who don't role play. Like laughing yeah. for people who don't laugh, and that's kind of my, my thing. Get get everyone storytelling and and, and laughing. Yes. Um, even if they don't realise it. Yes, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> even if they, they don't, even they have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just just out of curiosity, how can people actually get hold of, of of your board games and what have you? The the board games you can get in two ways. You can go to the website, the uh, storymasterstowns dot com. And follow it there. We have another one called mysticchamber.shop. Uh, but also, uh, we do a Cthulhu one as well. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. There's another one called Cthulhu Hotel. Um, sorry, Hotel Lovecroft. Okay, right, yeah. And, yeah. and again, that uses the narratives and the soundscapes. And um, you can play these over Zoom as well, which is kind of good. That one you can now get on Amazon. Right. So uh, cool. you can look at that. Yeah, right. you don't... You, Ideally, you need the cards, but you can print off your own cards from that if you want. Uh, or you can get a card book where you just fold over the cards and put them in, in sleeves. Uh, right. So, yeah, Amazon are there. Yeah. So that for any international people, if they don't want to wait for postage or pay, if in the in, uh, EU, you can get it from your local Amazon branch. No problem. Uh, no worries. So so uh, just let everybody know all of these links and what have you will be in the description wherever it's probably going to go all right um 
So don't worry about that. If you know, if you didn't catch what Ollie was saying there, where to find them, all of the links are going to be below, you know, so don't worry about that. Just, just check them out. It's fine. Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant. Ollie, mate, I, I, I honestly, I can't say what, a, 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 it's been a delight, an yeah. absolute oh, delight, you. uh, talking to you. Oh, right. can I, can I mention a couple of other things? Of course you can. Of course you can. Um, the, the, Go, again, going back to when I was um, 13, painting the Steve Jackson, Ian Livingstone illustrations of yes. my bedroom wall. Yep. Now, I was lucky enough to meet both those chaps. And at the Fighting Fantasy Festival a couple of years ago, we did yep. a live action House of Hell. Okay. And, oh. and, and that was incredible. So again, we, you know, getting people laughing. And then yep. um, we got permission last year to do Death Trap Dungeon live, oh, and now that, that was supposed no. to be for the uh, expo, which of course got cancelled. The Games Expo mm, in yeah. Birmingham got cancelled, and then they wanted to move it to this year, which it might go ahead this year, but we can't do our show because it's too interactive. Mm, but we yeah. can maybe do it the following year. So, again, yeah. there are so many things, so many areas that LARPing can put its fingers on. You know, yes. you just got to think a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Uh, laterally and um, yeah. encourage people to do it and, and, and you know, get get them involved somehow. Yeah. Uh, let's grow this hobby. It, it's such an amazing hobby once you're in it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. As, as you say, it's it's getting people into it, isn't it? Once, once, once they're in, they pretty much never leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's just that, come on in come come try it'll yeah. be fine it's not weird honest uh yeah. <laughs> See, i didn't you know. have that choice you just took me no i i, I, I just you. yeah they you know uh, you realize that i've been larping for 28 years this year mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. yeah yep but, uh, just the desktop <laughs> sorry i'm just i just got a desktop dungeon in my head now <laughs> 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 yeah exactly exactly um is there is, is there anything else you'd like to discuss ali is there any any more questions any, any of you got i just want to join the cthulhu game there we go now now if you want just going to the three things that we do uh the standalone yeah. quests uh like i said that we've got a couple of new ones because i've rewritten everything for that yeah. uh we've yeah. got um yeah two there which kind of lead on to each other if they want to do two standalones and then we got the ongoing quest and the ongoing quest you've got to join the facebook group yeah uh, you must join that because then you'll know what's going on and then you can select a character uh send it to me the background we'll try and write it yeah. in as well so you, you do have say in where the story leads and at the okay. moment we're doing one every two to three weeks um yeah. they're, they're about hour and a half two hour shows we call yeah. them shows or quests because that's what they are uh and then we have um the events as well at the moment the events are free so if you're not quite sure what, what it's all about you can come along uh it's a little different you can go to different rooms you can meet different characters you can find out what's going on. you can see what everyone's backgrounds are like what their te yeah. technical expertise are like uh do dress up though don't just turn up you know looking yeah like you just got out of bed uh you know we do expect you to make an effort in role playing and then we got the private ones as well so if you've got group mates you can always kind of do do that if yeah. you want just your group to do it and uh and again that, that's open for kids as well so we get, get them in young get them yeah, encouraged definitely in fact, we got some young players who are now who definitely came along about four years ago when they were you know, 10, 11, who are now coming along to the ongoing quests. Oh, brilliant. So that's really cool. Yeah. See. That's incredibly you've, cool. You've got, to, you've, you've got to love that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, okay. Ollie, thank you very, very much for this. Uh, bef you, be, you know, before we go, I think you should probably prep yourself as the story master maybe to basically sort of take us out and while you're doing that i'll tell people about the facebook links and things 
Okay, absolutely. Yes. yes. <laughs> right. So, so, so don't forget, people, you know, uh, follow us on Facebook. Uh, in, all the links will be uh, flying up somewhere around by here. Uh, there is Twitter, there's Instagram, there's YouTube, which is this is on anyway. There's our website, our website, lapbook.com. There's think that's it yes yeah <laughs> katie, <laughs> katie handles a lot of our social stuff and i haven't got a clue so, <laughs> <laughs> so i think i i think ollie it's it's about time you were uh, magically become the story master everybody that's get ready that's everybody that's ready. get ready get ready oh, i was gonna go do -do 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 <laughs> Ah, oh, well, thank you, everyone, at the LARP book. It's been a delight to meet you all, and I hope we'll see you all. Do you mind, Master Gibbs? I am a little busy at the moment. Well, I am uh, Professor Quasimor from the Story Master's Tales. This is Master Gibbs. Yes, I know, they're the viewers. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, do come on one of our fantastic adventures. Uh, they are rather strange and eccentric. Um, and, of course... So are the people of the LARP book. <laughs> well, goodbye for now. <laughs> so, again, thank you, Ollie. Uh, absolutely amazing chatting with you. I we, I think we, I say from everybody, you know, that could not wish you any, you know, more luck in the future. We just want this oh, just to me. keep going and yeah, going please. and going for you because, you know, you, you, you and the team have seen some of the stuff that you do and it's just, fabulous there's no other there's no other, other word i've got for it that kind of explains it any better that for me um you know uh rob katie thank you again for coming along that's absolutely superb uh because i've only got so many space in my head for questions and things and it's don't say yeah. it, rob don't say it don't say it, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so so thank you ollie amazing right thank you very much you so uh much. you know we will see you in the near, very near future my friend no, no. whether it's yeah. online in person or magically i don't know we'll we'll <laughs> we'll we'll find a way all right so uh That's lovely no way so uh if of course you have been watching this thank you very much don't forget to tell everybody I mean, everybody, even people you see in the street that you have no idea who they are about LARP book and LARPbook.com. And of Just course, two meters away. yeah, but sh shout it across the street or, yeah. or, or something. Shout it, shouting's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and of course, naturally, about the Story Masters Tales glances down at notes, the interactive <laughs> role playing theatre. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that knows me needs only notes for everything. So um, <laughs> thank you very much for everybody. It's been an absolutely delight. It has. Well, I can't you. wait to come to you. Thank you, Ollie. Yeah. yeah. Bye, all. Bye. 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 Thank you. In a time long lost and a realm far away, adventure waits for you in the Story Master's Tales. You have entered an alternative 18th century world full of magic, monsters, and mystery. A grim world that is both dangerous and dark, where the stories of folklore are terrifyingly real. Life is hard, but those with courage and a thirst to find knowledge, wealth, and power can do so by risking themselves on perilous quests found around this kingdom.